Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about data types which we are going to use while creating our table. So let's start with the first slide. So the data types which we are going to use in our tables or we are going to learn while creating tables are strings, numbers, and date. Mostly going to be of these types. Okay. So strings. What are the data types which are available in the PostgreSQL for storing the strings? Okay, so there are three available, mainly three available. That is char n, var char n, and next and text. Sorry, text. So what is n? So n defines the number of length of character you want to store inside the inside the table. Okay, so that n going to be a positive. That n is going to be a positive integer. Okay, so that can be one, two, three, four, or anything. That n will going to define the length of your string or length of your character, okay? Uh, which you are going to store inside the table. Text does not have any n or any length, okay? So the text data type will going to be of undefined length, okay? So you can store uh, like as many uh, strings or uh, character you want to store inside the text data type. Text data type is mostly used in storing the addresses, okay? Address or comments, something like this. And char and varchar we can use to store a name of the person, okay? Or other information. Then the next data type is numbers. So numbers for numbers there are two available or there are many others uh, more more than two like integer numer numeric. There are big int, small int, small int and others, okay? So for numbers, we are going to use integer and numeric only for this table we are going to create. Integer is going to store the numbers and numeric also going to store numbers. Both have their specific range of storing the information. Then other data type is date, okay, which is going to store the date or going to hold the date, okay. So let me just get you to the documentation part. You will be able to see how many data types you can store. So this is the link. I'll post this link in the description. In the, the you have to by if you in, in this web page you have to click on this current 12 because that's the version we are using. In this you can see here data types. So there are numerous number of data types available in the Postgres. You can see numeric types, monetary, character types, binary data types, date and time. There are others available. Okay. So first let us talk about numeric types. So these are the numeric data types which are available. In this, we are only going to use integer and numeric. So integer hold the storage size of four bytes, and numeric ho is a variable of length, okay, of size. So range for the integer you can see here is of ten digit. These these numbers are of ten digit, but for numeric we don't have any digits, okay. We don't have at, at, as at any limited digit, but we can store like one lakh thirty one thousand and seventy two digits before the decimal point and these digits bef after the decimal point. So this is like very huge number. We can store like very huge number in this. So these two data types we are going to use. For the age you can also use small int data types because the age is going to be in between 0 and 100. So this is also well and good. But we are going to use integer and numeric. So another data type is character data types. In the character data types we mainly have three. Var, char, char and text. So char character char data types and var char data types both hold some number okay so uh, and text does not hold any number any length okay so you can see in the description text is a variable unlimited length okay character n is fixed length and var char n is variable length with limit okay the n defines the limit of limit of character you can store the another data type is uh, date and time okay in here you can see the date and time data types again have timestamp without time zone and with time zone and date data types time again with time zone and without time zone and intervals so we can we are going to use date in here okay okay so this is how we are going to store or this is these are the data types we are going to use in our table so this is how it is going to be created so create table then we are going to define data types for the particular name of the column okay so i'll have like table with name information in this i have column name age address phone number and date of birth 
so the name is going to be of varchar n which varchar 50 which is going to store the length of the name is not going to be more than 50 character okay so it is been between 50 character the age again is going to use again again for age we are going to use uh, integer for address we are using text data type for phone number we are using numeric and for date of birth we are using date we are, why, are, why we are using is numeric and uh, not integer here for phone number is because integer holds 10 digits okay 10 digit of range okay but for phone number it can be more than 10 or less than 10 okay? like if you add a country code before the number then it, it will going to exceed the length of the phone number so that's why we are using numeric here so this is how the table is going to look like our name column will have varchar n age column will have integer information stored in an integer form the address will have text phone number will have numeric and date of birth will have date data type in the below table you can see that the name holds like name of the person of user age of the users address where he lives and phone number and date of birth so this is how the information is going to store with the help of these data types okay thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we will learn of how to create table inside our database so thank you for watching this video